Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about the Hacienda Justice Court. Now, if you were cited for a crime, a misdemeanor crime, either by a uh, MCSO, that's Maricopa County Sheriff's Office officer or Department of Public Safety deputy, then you will be in the Hacienda Justice Court providing you fall on certain boundaries. If you're charged by a city cop, you're going to be in city court, and that's a, a different topic. Now, the Hacienda Justice Court. Uh, I'm going to show you the map here. The basic boundaries are to the north is the I-60. That's the road up to Wickenburg. To the south is Bell Road. To the east is Lake Pleasant Road. And to the west is Eagle Eye Road. So if you're stopped within that jurisdiction by either MCSO or DPS, you're going to go to this court. Now this court's address is 14264 West T Tierra Buena Lane. And that's in Surprise, Arizona, uh, 85. 374. Now, when you get there, the parking is going to be out front. It has plenty of parking and you don't have to pay for it, so that's good. When you go in, make sure you're dressed appropriately. Don't wear cutoffs or t-shirts. Dress as if you're going to a job interview, a collared shirt. Don't have a hat or sunglasses on. That just angers the judge. He'll probably tell you to take it off. Now, when you get there, the judge is going to be Miles Keegan. He's a newly elected judge, so I don't know much about him. But what I do know is he's not a lawyer. Yes, you heard me right. The judge has never been to law school. He's not a lawyer. Now, why is that? Under the Arizona Constitution, you can be elected as a justice of the peace without going to law school. So what happens is he will get several weeks of training, and then he'll go in and he'll judge guilt or innocent, innocence or make rulings uh, regarding the legalities of stops, etc., with very limited knowledge. That's why it's important to have a skilled attorney who can explain the law to the judge who can file briefs giving him the other side of the story, just not the officer's side of the story. Another reason you want to have a private lawyer is when you go into court, here's the order of appearances. First people that are seen are the interpreter clients. That means they don't speak English. So the interpreter gets there and it's the in-custody interpreter followed by the out-of-custody uh, defendants that need an interpreter. Next is the in-custody English speakers and then it goes on to private counsel. And that's where we can get you up and out of court in about 30 minutes. That's the goal. If you don't use us and you're not represented or you have a public defender, what starts happening is they just go alphabetical. So if you're late in the alphabetical order, you may be sitting there all morning and into the afternoon before you even see the judge. Now, if you've been charged with a crime, a misdemeanor, and you fall into the Hacienda Justice Court, give us a call. We have excellent attorneys, lots of experience. If you go to our website, www.dmcantor.com, you're going to see all of our wins. We have over 130 complete acquittals at jury trial. We know what we're doing. We look forward to hearing from you soon.